This is where I work. It's in a state of revision right now. We're remodeling the place. Even with the confusion out in the halls, our new newsroom gives us something we've never had before. A place to plan coverage of the news the way it should be planned and the way it should be covered. There are 20 of us who work in or out of this office. Ted Groves is my number two, the guy whose job it is to keep up with everything that's happening everywhere and assign the people to cover what we consider the important happenings. Ted doubles as weekend sportscaster when Harry Callis is on the road with the Astros or the Cougars, but his prime function is that of coordinating the best news operation in Houston, and he does it well. At the other end of the room, Pete Maroney works. An amazing young man, produces Ron Stone's 5 p.m. portion of the evening news, researches editorials, does newscasts on the morning show. The morning show, five hours a week, head to head against today. Pete covers the news. Al Bell and Joy Newfer provide guests, features, and entertainment that says this is Houston to Houstonians. If there's a star in town, a social or civic function, an incident of interest in this city, Al and Joy tell you about it and bring you the people involved consistently. The word applies as well to the news at noon. Consistent. In a different format, Al is here again, this time with Joanne King, Channel 11's women's editor. Al does the news. Joanne talks fashions, people, women, with equal authority. Proof? Well, 90,000 homes, 60% of the audience, consistently. You want more proof? She's in Europe tonight, witnessing previews of this year's fashions. Just part of her job. My work keeps me in close contact with all these people, none possibly so much as with Ron Stone. Now what can I say about Ron? A good newsman, a good writer, a funny person with unmatched insight. Yes, a delightful human being too, and you already know that. Ron anchors our weeknight 10 o'clock report and begins our early coverage with the 5 o'clock segment of the evening news. Just an hour later, with two equally delightful people, I go into the studio for the six o'clock evening news. Ed Edwards and Sid Lasher look like they're having a good time doing what they do. They are, and so am I. You know, we discovered long ago that hard, serious news doesn't have to be laughed at, but it doesn't have to be related as if at a funeral either. We present the news the way we know best, and that's by being ourselves.